What is it that we want as we age? A stable roof over our heads, our health, maybe just one more day on this earth. A nonprofit in Siren is offering another shot at the world for some pups that are rarely given a second chance. Here's Heidi Bull. Spring awakens, life on the farm. Blossoms bud, grass greens. Baby animals breathe their first breaths. But life on this farm, come on, <gasps> hi Mona, isn't new. It's given a second chance. We've got nine here, I think, right now, that would be dead if they hadn't come here. Here is the Dane Farm, started by Ann Heinrich. The foster base rescue began nine years ago. The sanctuary opened its doors just last year. Ann says it may be one of the only ones in the country. The sanctuary dogs can never leave here. They come to us as, this is it. It's either death or us. They're not bad dogs. It's a doggy haven, or heaven, for Great Danes lucky enough to call it home, with acres of fenced-in land to roam, and plenty of places to soak up the spring sun. The sunbathing spots used to be Anne's backyard. I donated the land and the buildings to the rescue sanctuary and financed most of what we've done, and I ran out of money, so we're out of money right now to do anything more. Still living in the home on the property, and shares every square inch with the gentle giants. They get their day or two in the house, and then they have to go and come back out here, and somebody else gets to come in there and sleep in my bed and sleep on the sofa and that, because I don't want them to feel like they're living in a kennel situation. Over the past 40 years, Heinrich has owned Great Danes of her own and calls them her first love. Just the satisfaction of having the dogs around me that have their whole life ahead of them. And sometimes that life can be expensive, with base operating expenses tallying up to over $3,000 a month, not including vet bills, which annually can be... About thirty to 35000 That is our biggest expense. Okay, now, Lux. With no income for the sanctuary, the Dane Farm relies on donors. And every little bit helps. Sus. Sus. The dogs at the farm are in all different stages of their lives. And all uh. life eventually ends. Something Anne has come to terms with. Every dog that comes here at the sanctuary will die with me. Or maybe I'll die first. No. At 72 years old, Anne says she's starting to slow down just a bit. When I think to myself, I'm up almost every two hours during the night with a dog. It's seven days a week, 24 hours a day. But it's a desire for Danes that has her rising with the sun and staying up long after it sets, with just the help from some volunteers and one employee. I stay glued to your side the whole time. Together, Ashley and Ann have big dreams for the farm. We have all the possibilities here, but it just takes money. I need a building three times this size because there could be that many animals that need to come in. And they are coming from across the country, four paws at a time, from Alabama, Ohio, and Illinois. Several tails turned away because of lack of resources. We don't charge them anything for taking the dogs. I just have faith and confidence this will go. And sometime years down the road, it'll still be here doing things for dogs. Reporting in Siren, Walter Howe, Katie Bull, Eau Claire Zone, News 18. And if you'd like to learn more about the Dane Farm, head to wqow.com to find out how you can help.